Alrighty then. Hello and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. So, we still need to unlock those negatives. So let's have at it with Kane. That's a new one. Friendly Ball. Gotta fetch them all. That was another one of these items that were revealed in the blog posts. Um, I think the way they work, or this one works, is that you can um, you can use it on an enemy, and then it catches him like like a pokeball, like this. And uh, next time we use it, we can unleash that enemy on uh, on a. Uh, Another enemy, basically. I don't know the idea, but I mean, the idea is quite clear, but I don't see how it's useful unless I can, like, capture mini bosses or something like that. That would be cool. But yeah, we're just chilling here. I'm still uh, digesting our last uh, loss there in the last episode. That was a crazy run. One of the best rerolls I've ever had, but uh, I wasn't ready for that one rune there, so, you know, shit happens. So, yeah, I was sort of thinking that um, then our... Uh, okay, he killed him. Um, our friendly monster would then be charmed for the whole room, maybe? And fight alongside with us. If it's not for the whole room, then I think it's... It's kind of misguided. It would have to be for the whole room. And we got little Steven. Not bad, actually. I think he's uh, underrated among familiar babies. Yep, yeah, that's an old one. Oldie but goody. So we will want to go in that uh, quest room at some point. Hopefully we get the opportunity to. Kane of course starts with a with a little bit of extra luck compared to other characters, but of course a little bit less uh, HP than Isaac, for example. Oh look! Did you see that? He repels bullets. That uh, that champion. That's interesting. Very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, self sacrifice room. The game can be uh, can be pretty helpful at times, if if it feels like it at least. Come on. Well, I'm actually a little bit uh, concerned, so I will wait before I can use that. Until after the deal with the devil, hopefully. What do we have here? Actually, let me... Damn it! That didn't work. Oh, did it? Hey, the, the, the big one is gone. Maybe it did work. I imagine they'd have to be uh, pretty lenient on the hitbox of the friendly ball in order to make it work. So I'm thinking I might have uh, actually succeeded there. So we'll have a uh, shoot a poop monster fighting for us, which is uh, another sentence I wouldn't think I'd ever have to say. And here's our item room. PhD. Well, first of all, that will reveal everything, uh, every um, pill to us. It would basically make Kane into the Kane he used to be. So I'm going to take it. It also uh, heals us. And that pill is retrovision. I have no idea what it does. So we're going to try it out in the boss fight, I guess. Okay. I wonder, could I capture the whole swarm? Let's 
Let's find out some other time, I guess. Uh, Larry Jr. Retrovision? Great. And... Use up who- Ah, yeah, it worked. I guess Retrovision is a bad card. A bad pill. But, you know. You're not doing that much work there. I guess I could have placed the ball better. Just really uh, like standing around doing a whole lot of nothing. Oh, it keeps coming back. Oh, okay. So it doesn't even deal. Um, it doesn't deal uh, friendly damage. So that's also very nice. Okay, I'm starting to. Ah, what? I keep it around as long as it's alive. That's awesome. That's amazing. I love it. Okay, that that just. Oh God. We keep having retrovision for the rest of the run. That's just great. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm sorry, Krampus' head. I think I'll stick with friendly ball. It's actually much better than I gave it credit for at the beginning. So, another thing I'd like to know is, if I throw it down again, does it keep my, my dingle there? But no, it just got killed. Maybe not. Guess we'll see. There's an item room again. Just be careful about the red fires. Not that bad of a dodge maneuver there. Kamikaze, not good. Not good at all for most circumstances. <clears throat> so, so far so good. This floor seems to be themed around explosions. I've always wondered if there's like some aspect in the seed generation where it makes it so that um, certain things, certain items, certain enemies or whatever are more likely to uh, to show up grouped together. No thanks, but we will look at this question because now we have extra uh, health to go by and it's an item as well. Goathead, nice! Awesome! So goathead means we get deals with the devil constantly for the rest of the run, at least as long as we can get those deals. Actually, um, I wonder if I could maybe uh, trap one of the. Well, this. Um, there we go. The champion will do much more for us, I'm sure. Okay, nice. <clears throat> okay. I'm getting the hell out of this run. The sun. Damn it. Set too much. No, that's not me in the corner. That's uh What the fuck? Did you see that? That's not supposed to happen, I think. Something I I picked up the battery by accident and it kind of flung me into the spikes there. What the hell? Whoa! I forgot. I didn't see the narrow room there. Ah, damn it. He got killed. That's a good opportunity to, to use the sun card, I'm thinking. With all those enemies on the ground there. Especially since we're not that good on hearts right now, but... We get deals with the angel, apparently. The Bible. Yuck. Um, 
Yeah, why not get a key piece? Might as well. Yeah, apparently, yeah, I almost forgot. Um, there's a point to finding Mega Satan, I think, now. So we should actually make an effort to doing that. Of course, right now we're not good enough yet. But, you know, if the angel rooms keep coming, we might get a godhead or whatever. And that's another thing people were asking for, that uh, angel rooms hopefully will get, you know, better items. Because many people were thinking like, well, I would like to go the angel route every once in a while because it's more novel, but uh, the angel rooms just had shittier items most of the time. Like the Bible, for example, you know? But yeah, the key piece one, if it works like before, will give me an increased chance of getting deals with the angel from now on. Okay. Flooded caves. Very nice. This is black poop, isn't it? Well, ouch. First of all. Um, but this poop worries me a little bit. Maybe if I shoot it, okay, it turns dark, interesting. I was thinking maybe it works like black hearts, if you shoot it, the enemies on the ground take damage or something. Lots and lots of money. And bombs, of course. Um, do I want to become Guppy? Sure. Who doesn't? I mean, I'm not that fond of bombs, to be honest. <clears throat> Ouch. Okay. Uh, or we could get <laughs> Callus. I think Callus is better. Unless I get. Uh... Man, this is weird. Callus is better unless I get uh, Flight somehow. You know what? That didn't work. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go in there. Why not? Nice, nice. One makes you larger. I don't think I want that. Why would why would that be considered a good pill? I mean, I'll try it. Just so I can see if it does anything for me. But it just increases my hitbox. And I wizard is terrible, so yeah. Okay. It was still worth it. No question. Nice. If I could pick it up. <laughs> to those of you who also play the game, is it the same way with you? Like, you see familiar enemies from the base game? You breathe a sigh of relief. I think that's a good thing. I think it speaks to... Oh, not that nice. It speaks to the fact that they've done a really good job of making the enemies uh, this time around really hard to deal with and uh, more of a pain in the ass. How the hell did you get out of there? I wonder. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. So... Trucking along. For this point in the game, I'm thinking I'm a little underpowered, but like I said, with Goathead, you kind of have to take into account that you'll get better items in the future anyway, whether or not you do well or not, you know? I do want to get in here and ah, there's not another bomb, but we get those options, which is um, more than good enough. And uh, I'll take the spirit heart because it's because it's reduced in price. I'll take this. I can see forever, and then donate the rest. Right. I we'll keep some money in the donation machine, even though you take it out as well.
That was close. Well, more, more lucky than anything. I wonder if you could just... Uh, I wanted to get the, um, the champion, obviously. Didn't work out so well. Curved horn is way better. Okay, that's an interesting one. Right. Um, even though it makes us vulnerable to creep and stuff, the damage increase is so, so worth it, so... It's pretty much always a good get. Stop teasing me, Chess. It's Chad, um... I mean, could have been better. I don't know if it could have been a lot worse, to be honest, because we don't have many red hearts. We'll see, I guess. That was lucky as well. Oh, right, we got, we got those options, so you don't have to take Chad. And I would rather take the money, thank you very much. And we gotta deal with the devil this time. Which gives us dark matter. I'll take I'll uh, leave the other one. Right. On to the next floor. I'll take dark matter because uh, it gives me a little extra damage. Just a tiny bit. I don't know actually how much. Might be it, pretty substantial. I I wouldn't know, <laughs> to be honest. Didn't I? Yeah, that's uh, that's my little uh, regenerating buddy. At least I got a fast one, so that's good. Ouch! And the best thing about him is he uh, he can take a few hits and still keep going. If the enemies don't rush him down, which it doesn't look like, I think he might actually be one of the best uh, monsters to use um, to use the ball with. I'm liking it. You know, he he also just uh, comes back around whenever he. Uh, he gets hit, he sort of bounces back. That's pretty damn amazing, if I'm honest. It's like a reusable meat boy. Mm. I don't think I want that. Just gets on my nerves a little bit with his, uh, his m less than, uh, <laughs> oh, what's that? I don't have enough keys for that. Or, uh, well, I do have enough uh, bombs for it, but that's not really that big of a deal. <clears throat> yeah, his groans of affection are a little bit disconcerting here. Yeah, I'd rather... And that's one. If we make it... Ah, uh, damn it. Here's the problem from the from the early uh, Meat Boy, Meat Boy from the from the very original game, like the one the Flash game, is that he uh, can can um, move your uh, items around, your bombs in particular. Okay, that's nothing. Yeah, I've come around. I, I actually thought that this item wouldn't be as good, or it was more of a um, more of a uh, gimmick than anything. But it's really nice. Uh oh, he stays in that 
in that ooze state when you leave the room like that. I'm really, really <laughs> proud of how long I can keep this guy alive. Or he keeps himself alive, I guess. Come on. Ah, shit. I think... Yeah, I think Isaac's, uh, Kane's voice has become a little bit lower due to one pill makes you larger. Come on now. At least I didn't get hit. Oh, I, I lost my... I lost my body just when I talked him up so much. Or maybe he... just dies after a certain time? Can I... I wonder. No, I can't capture greed. You can't capture mini bosses. That's fair, I guess. And uh, to that logic, you can't uh, capture bosses probably either. Oh well. And we're not going to be fast enough for boss rush. But I'm um, quite a bit faster than than these other few times other runs we've had so I'm not all that mad here the adversary definitely a fight I want to use the Empress on we have seen him a few times on the chest he's actually one of the harder ones to fight and uh, he has a lot of HP he has a lot of um, bullshit attacks like this brimstone you've seen or this um, this ground stomp, those ones in particular. Come on, no, don't die here. I beg of you. Oh, almost dodged into it. <sighs> okay, um, this one. We've seen that before, haven't we? I don't know what it is yet. Let's look in the deal first. Damn. I can't take either of them. I re would really get my <laughs> like to get my hands on a little brimstone. Maybe though. Maybe. No, of course, that was our greed fight. I forgot. Damn. Well, I could get some black hearts, maybe. And that way, I would be able to get it. Nice. Okay, once one more, and I'm, and I'm definitely taking them. And that, and that uh, way, we could actually take both of them. Two more bombs. Come on. I don't really want to fight one more. Yeah, this is a good spot. Come on, man. Oh, Lackstead is so high. Why can't you give me something here? Maybe this will get more than two. Like this. Well, at least I got a two of spades card. Eh. I think I'm going to get it I get I'll get both of them all obviously because I can with the two hard deals you don't have to have exactly two hearts if you have less than two and uh, you you want you get the deal I guess I'll take that anyway and swallow the prize oh yeah it gives you another I see that was what it is what the hell? Did I just get a an HP upgrade from this thing? Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? But yeah, I'm just gonna keep on going. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, yes, that gets rerolled. Uh, do I want this? Do I want this? What's my tier rate? 
Ah. Oh, yeah. That's the multidimensional thing. I'll take it. It fucks my tier rate, but... We have a little brimstone to back it up, so... Ah! Might have fucked myself, though. And I'm dead. How does this keep happening? <laughs> How did I... Suck, start sucking at Isaac again. I have real Platinum God, I, I'm telling you, I didn't cheat that. You can look it up. Uh, but I shouldn't have take, taken Ease Mascara. That was a terrible pickup. But now I know. But still, it was a nice one. It was a really cool one because of a friendly ball there. Definitely. Maybe picking up... Mm, Maybe I should, shouldn't have picked up a uh, multidimensional baby. That might have been a, a better compromise. Anyway, long story short, I need to get better. I need to keep practicing. And I hope you keep watching as well while I get myself out of that slump. So, <laughs> see you guys.